So we're talking about what makes a man desirable to women. There is one basic principle, and then there's examples of that principle, which we're going to go over today. In the book, David talks about the key idea or principle of resources. So what this means is that when it comes down to what makes a woman attracted to a man, it's the ability for a man to be able to get resources for the family. And it starts with him either having resources or having the qualities that will then lead him to have resources. And the psychological reason behind this is that, or I should say, uh, based in evolutionary psychology, I don't know if it's the psychological reason, but the evolutionary reason is that a woman wants to be able to be with a man who has the resources to get her family to prosper. So it's all about, it's all about your children, basically, is, is, is what I'm kind of gathering here. It's all about your children. It's about survival and replication. That's the basis of evolution is things evolve to be the sur- to survive right survival of the fittest and then you survive and replicate that's what keeps things going that's what keeps life going so all the decisions and all the mating strategies are behind having surviving and replicating i.e mating having kids and staying alive so when a man has resources he's able to help the woman, because guess what? One day she's going to be pregnant and she's not going to be able to get resources. A pregnant woman cannot go out and hunt for food. Okay, what we're talking about, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago, obviously now is, is a lot different. But then again, a pregnant woman right now might have a hard time, although she can probably just order a DoorDash or something. But you get the idea. So she needs a man around to help with resources, to help with having the baby, raising the baby, sticking around long enough for the children to survive, for your offspring to prosper and for your genetics to continue on and to be part of the human race. That's what we all secretly desire when it comes to survival and and replication. So a man must have resources or the ability to get resources or qualities that say to a woman, that this guy can get resources. So I'm going to give you some ideas. Again, these are from the book that talk about this. So the first one is age. So it's interesting, right? When you're, if you're listening to this, and I know there's a lot of guys listening to this who are in their early 20s, you might find that it's a little bit hard to attract women. Now, let me talk to my guys in their 30s. Maybe you found that it became a little bit easier to attract women. Women are, generally speaking, attracted to men who are older. Why? Because when you're older, what happens? You have more resources. A man has more resources as he's older. He's a better hunter. He's more skilled. Maybe he's been able to collect more resources over time. So women are generally attracted to men who are older. Of course, we, we got to say generally speaking because you can absolutely be, let's say, you know, 19 years old and attract a woman who's also 19. But if we were to compare you, a 19-year-old, to another female 19-year-old versus maybe a 25-year-old, she might be more attracted to that 25-year-old. So age plays an important factor. Social status plays an important factor. Someone who has high social status means he can have more resources. He has more people around him. He has the skills to have. So the fact, I I believe that what I'm interpreting here is with social status, you have more social status. That means that you have a network and someone who's well connected is going to be able to help someone else survive. It's like someone, let's say thousands of years ago, a man and a woman all alone in the woods might be a little bit harder for you to help your woman and your kids survive versus having a tribe of people around you, right? Here's another one, ambition. This is is a great one. I talk about this a lot and I've talked about this for years, the idea of ambition. 
women are attracted to ambitious men. And what's so funny too is so many people don't understand why. It's like you'll you'll ask a woman like, oh, are you really attracted to a guy who's ambitious? Do your own research. You know, probably almost close to 100% of women are going to say, yeah. The reason why is because that is a trait that says that this guy will eventually be able to get resources. And so that's important because not necessarily can a woman be with a guy right away who has resources, but the sign that he's able to acquire those resources to survive, ambition is one of those traits that signals that. Let me rewind just a little bit, talk about the idea of resources. It's like, well, what does that mean? It means food, money, shelter, help. That's what resources is all about. So just think about it that way. Food, money, shelter, help. The things that one needs resources to survive. Okay. All right. So ambition is a big one. So that's why as a guy, if you're at home smoking a bunch of weed on your parents' couch, you're not going to be as attractive as a guy who has a job and is a productive member and effective member of society. I haven't gotten too deep into the book yet, but there is going to be parts about short-term mating strategies where you know you might be thinking like, You know, I know guys who are total stoners and get laid all the time. And guys who have no ambition do nothing. That's because he might have traits that are good for short-term mating strategies. And that's a whole separate thing. I believe that that is something we can dive deeper into when, uh, in another episode, in another episode. But shorter mating term strategies usually are going to be like your bad boy qualities and guys who are having very physical attractive traits. Those guys can do very well for short-term mating strategies. But for long-term, in terms of getting a girlfriend at the very least, but even still as part of short-term, is, or I should say, are the things that I'm talking about here. So ambition, dependability is another one. A woman is going to be attracted to a guy who's dependable. So if his his actions and words don't align, maybe he's flaky. Maybe it's a guy who lies and she, he gets caught in a lie. All these things would be very unattractive to a woman. A woman wants a guy who's very dependable. Again, why? A dependable man is going to be able to stick around, help raise the kids, and have the resources and the abilities. Here's another one is intelligence. Intelligence is a very big one. A dum-dum on the couch doing nothing won't be able to help gather resources, but a very smart man will. So all these things are very important to a woman for long-term mating strategies. Social status, age, ambition, dependability, intelligence, just to name a few all because they help either gather resources or signal to the woman that this guy will eventually do that. So for example, a woman might be very attracted to a guy who's in med med school. Well, technically, if you look at that, that guy is in a lot of debt and he's not a doctor yet. But why is that still attractive? Well, he has the opportunity and he's doing things that will get him to the point of having resources. So that's always very attractive. The good news, my my gentlemen, is that you don't need to be rich. You don't need to be a doctor. You don't need to be any of these things to be able to be attractive to women. A lot of these things are, I'm not going to say they're easy, but they're fairly basic things that you can actually do. Obviously, you can't control your age, but you can control your social status. You can control your how ambitious you are, how dependable you are, your intelligence. These are things that you can control, that you can change, that will make you more attractive to a woman. 
And I want you to think about some of these things and think about this in your life. Where are you in your life? Where are you in your life right now? And did these line up and match up with the things that I'm saying here? How can you take some of these things and start to implement them in your life? Being a more goal-oriented guy. Being someone who, besides listening to podcasts like these, but also listens to other podcasts and other areas and topics and reads and, and is working on being as smart as they can be. Working on making sure you have a good network of people around you and friends. And by the way, it's interesting how we talk about these things in relation to women. Like I understand that I tell you these things in being more attractive to women. That's why you're listening to this podcast or watching this on YouTube. But at the end of the day, I like to still come from a place of building your own self-worth and own self-esteem. Doing these things so your life is awesome and the byproduct is a better dating life and sex life. That's my goal for you is we do these things for us because all these things are great traits. These are great things for us that are going to make us healthier, happier men. But the cool thing is, is it also gets you to the point where you're more attractive to women, which is, I know, something else that you want too, which is why we're talking about it today. But again, I just want it to be something that is is deeper and coming from a better place and not doing everything just for a woman, but doing it for yourself.